Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche DB. In this video, you're going to learn how to secure your HTTP API using JWT and AWS Cognito. Let's start by searching for Lambda on the AWS console, then click Create Function and give your function a name. Select a runtime, then hit Create Function. Next, go to the Code Source section and hit test. Give your test event a name and then hit save. Click on test to test your lambda function to ensure it's working as expected. Let's go back to the AWS console and this time search for API gateway. Click on create API then hit build in the HTTP API section. Click on add integration and select lambda from the drop down. Select the lambda function that we just created from the drop down and then give your API a name. Next, I'm going to select the get method for this route and leave everything else to default. Hit create, then navigate to your invoke URL. Add the route to the end of the URL to test your API. Seems like our API is calling the lambda function as expected. Let's go back to the AWS console and search for Cognito. Click on Manage User Pools, then click on Create User Pool. Give your pool a name, then select Review Defaults. Next, click on Add App Client, then give your client a name. I'm going to uncheck Generate Client Secret, then click on Create App Client. Next, click on Create Pool then select domain name from the left menu. Enter a domain name, then hit save. Now select app client settings from the left menu and enable Cognito user pool. Enter a callback URL, then select implicit grant email and open ID. Hit save, then click on launch hosted UI. Before we can sign in, we need to create a user. Click on Users and Groups, then hit Create User. Enter a username and a temporary password, then hit Create User. Now you can use these credentials to sign in. Enter a new password and an email, then hit Send. Copy paste the URL in a text editor and extract the ID underscore token value. Make sure to exclude the ampersand from the end since it's the delimiter. Next, go back to the API gateway, then click on Routes. Select Get, then click on Attach Authorization. Click on Create and Attach an Authorizer, then select JWT. Enter a name for your authorizer, then select an identity source. Instead of using header.authorization, I'm going to use query string .id underscore token. This will allow me to pass the token in the URL itself. For issuer URL, I'm going to use the cognito-idp URL with my pool ID. To get your pool ID, go to the user pools, then click on general settings. Next, click on add audience and enter your client ID. You can get your client ID from the app client section. Click on create and attach then go back to your API URL. This time, if you refresh your URL, you should see an unauthorized message. To authorize your API call, you have to pass the ID underscore token key value pair. I'm going to add a question mark in front of the ID underscore token to make it a query string parameter, then attach it to the end of the URL. If you hit enter now, you should see your Lambda function being returned as expected. There you have it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.